My name is Deacon Tim Dunlop and I'm at St. Margaret's of Scotland Parish in Midland, Ontario at the northern part of our Archdiocese. And this prayer that we heard today from Luke's Gospel, the Magnificent, is uh, just an overwhelming prayer. And it's often that we, we say it uh, daily when we do the breviary and uh, it just helps us to uh, keep the, that same joy that uh, Mary experienced when she visited uh, Elizabeth, uh, knowing that uh, Elizabeth uh, was six months pregnant. And of course, we heard how uh, John the Baptist uh, jumped in the womb when Mary entered uh, to visit Elizabeth. And it brings back uh, a few years ago when my wife and I were first experiencing, uh, well, our first child. and. Uh, uh, the joy we had in knowing that, the joy our families had, but also there's fear. And I can't imagine Mary being uh, such a young woman, uh, being pregnant under all the circumstances. She continued to carry this joy regardless of all the challenges and fears that, were, that she encountered, her and Joseph. So this Advent season, maybe it's an opportunity for us to extend this joy. Uh, it, it's certainly this time of year, there's many people that are, are fearful, are worried, because they, they can't have the Christmas that possibly they're accustomed to. There's the homebound, the sick and the elderly. There's those that are less fortunate, the franchise that live on the street, and uh, just offering a donation to help them. Uh, and uh, maybe at the grocery store, helping an elderly, uh, pack their groceries. Or better still, if you know an elderly, uh, go visit and, and take them communion. That joy that uh, they experience is the same joy that we receive in doing this. So have a wonderful Christmas and God bless. <laughs>